As a young man, I was taught to venerate President Tandy of Shady Sands, the founding mother of the new California Republic. Did you know her presidency lasted 52 years? And that her father, Aradesh, was the Republic's first president? Does that sound like a democracy to you? Or a hereditary dictatorship? The council didn't dare oppose her. She was too popular. She had the people's love. So things ran smoothly, more or less. And as soon as she was gone, as soon as there really could be democracy, what happened then? Ever since losing its queen, the NCR has been weaker, more diffuse. Democracy has been its weakness, not its strength. Greed runs rampant. The government is corrupt, accepting bribes from Brahmin barons and landowners to the detriment of citizens. The NCR is a loose conglomerate of individuals looking out for themselves. It's lost virtue. No one cares about the collective, the greater good. It's not built to last. I'm just hastening the inevitable. Until now, every tribe I've conquered has been so backwards and stunted, enslavement has been a gift bestowed upon them. My conquest of the Mojave will be a glorious triumph, marking the transition of the Legion from a basically nomadic tribe to a genuine empire. Just as my namesake campaigned in Gaul before he crossed the Rubicon, so have I campaigned and will cross the Colorado.